Hi guys and girls, welcome back to the Beehive YouTube channel. If this is your first time, you probably want to head back over to the first part of this video where we talk about what SWOT, SWOT analysis is and why you want to conduct one. We cover a little bit about how to conduct a SWOT analysis there. But on this video, we're going to go a deep dive into the kind of questions you want to ask yourself on each of the four points I mentioned in the previous video. So what to include in your SWOT analysis? You will do the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. It's best to do it in this order because it's best to actually identify what you're strong at before you start thinking about what your threats are, if you know what I mean. <laughs> so let me read out the questions. What advantages do you have that others don't have? For example, skills, certifications, education and connections. Are you part of a network or are you in a group, a society, something where you can like tap into the network you have to get the people in there to help you out? Whatever it is you want to embark on next. What do you do better than anyone else? Or what do you do like so easily, seamlessly, quickly that others kind of struggle to do or they fail to do it as quick as you are able to? Think about those things and definitely add them to the list because those are definitely your strengths. Okay, the next thing is what personal resources can you access, whether it's paid or unpaid? You know, have a think about these. List those up list those because those are definitely your strengths what do other people see as your strengths ask people family friends colleagues leaders as i said try and get a 360 perspective on yourself at what people think of you get feedback from people and you'd be surprised some of them shouldn't surprise you because they probably mentioned it to you and you just forgot <laughs> um which of your achievements are you most proud of what values do you believe in that others fail to exhibit? So those values you have might become an advantage and a strength of yours when trying to embark on something new. Are you part of a network that no one else is involved in? If so, what connections do you have with influential people? That's the key. That part, influential people, is definitely the key. We all have networks, but we need to make sure that the people in our network either bring us some sort of benefit, um, and if so, we want to list out what those might be because those are definitely strengths as well. One last thing with strengths, if you're struggling, if you're really struggling to kind of like list out what you're great at, you shouldn't be really. But if you are, try and list out all the characteristics you have, yeah, and the traits that you have. And you'll probably find that you have a lot more strengths than you thought. I think at a time like this, when things are a bit difficult, you know, we should really spend some time to make ourselves a bit happy and think about all the great things that we, we're good at, all the achievements we've achieved. List those out, reminisce on those times, get those times out, get us thinking about those times and what we're good at and hopefully it will help you with what you want to embark on next. So now we'll move on to the next item, weaknesses, which is number two. I'll do the same, list out a number of questions you want to ask yourself, get you thinking about what your weaknesses are. So what tasks do you normally avoid because you don't feel confident doing them? By avoiding tasks, it just naturally means that you're probably weaker at it and you're just not really conscious of the fact that you aren't that good at it, okay? Um, what will the people around you see as your weakness? What do people normally say to you, like, complain about? Those are definitely your weaknesses. Are you completely confident in your education and skills, in your training? If not, then those might be some of your weaknesses. And if they're going to be needed in the next thing you want to kind of get involved in and engaged in, then you probably want to, like, look at addressing that weakness, improving your skill in that space, or getting support using a network, person in your network to help you with that weakness. What are the negative work habits? For example, are you often late? Are you disorganized? Do you have a short temper? 
or are you poor at handling stress? These are definitely weaknesses. They, if you struggle with these kind of things and you need to, for example, like deal with aggressive customers, then if you know this is a problem, you know you need to either address and find a way to be better at, I guess, conflict management or whatever it might be, or you avoid doing certain work roles in the space that requires such skills, okay? Do you have any personality traits that hold you back in your field, in your um, whatever it is you want to work on or what you are working on? For instance, have you conducted meetings in a, on a regular basis and do you have a fear of public speaking? These can impact you and they can be major weaknesses because ultimately if you, for example, prepare reports and you never present them, you might put yourself in a bit of a predicament because everyone might have the view that the person that prevent, presents the report is actually the one who's preparing it as well. So you want to make sure that like, you are creating enough visibility for yourself and um, developing your people skills and your public speaking skills might help you with that. I know it can be challenging to like think about your weaknesses um, and to kind of help you with it, I think it's worth you listing out the things that maybe you forget to do or the thing that people complain about, like I said earlier. Listing out all the things you forget to do generally should bring to light some of the things that you don't like doing and therefore, and the reason you don't like doing it is because you aren't really good at it. I know like looking at your weaknesses might be a little bit disheartening or you might struggle but it's really good to like understand those things now and by essentially being ahead of the curve, being ahead of what's going to be demanded of you. Um, and speaking to family, friend, doing what I call positive gossip should hopefully help you get that feedback, do something about it before it becomes a problem. So we're now in Google Slides and we're just going to add a table to get us started. This is a two by four table. I'll explain why. I can drag this. We need a row for our headings and then we need a row for the second headings. We need a row for the second headings and then we need plenty of space for our responses to the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. So I'll just put in here the strength heading. weaknesses opportunities and threats okay and then we can start typing we can put bullet points in or number them we can also do the same here bullet point Item one, numbered bullet point, that is item one for opportunity. And then bullet point again, numbered bullet point for threats. Item one, threat. Right. So we can center there and let's make the 
the row for the headings slightly smaller. Let's do the same here. Okay. So to kind of make this slide a little bit more fancy, we can insert boxes, shapes. We'll use a rounded rectangle. We'll use a rounded rectangle. Remove the color. So there's a fill, remove the fill to transparent and we can change the color to blue. Can make the border slightly thicker. This is border, border weight. This is border weight, so we can make it, let's call it 12. That looks quite extreme. <laughs> Maybe let's have eight. Okay, looks pretty okay to me. What we'll do now is we're happy with what the border looks like, the color and so on. So we'll copy and paste. So we've lined that up and we'll do the same for the ones below. Just shifting that down with the up and down arrow. Actually, I'll show you how to just use what we've done already to create the bottom ones. We'll just shift. There we go. That isn't perfectly aligned. So, there we go. What we'll do now is send these boxes to back. In order to do that, select all the items, as in when I say all items, all the boxes, not the table, just the boxes. Right click and we'll click, we'll firstly group these all so that we don't have to continuously select all the boxes. So we'll group, right click again, and then send to back by clicking on order, send to back. You can send it backwards, which will just send it one level down, but we'll just send it all the way to the back. There is only one other item on screen. So now what that means is when we click in this area, the table is above the four boxes. We'll right click the table, we'll remove the border. The simplest way to do that is border color, transparent. And we'll do that for all. So border color, transparent. That removes the border. So what you can do here is just keep adding items. So now you have your SWOT analysis. So I would suggest that you go back, have a look at what was the strengths, questions that I asked, the weaknesses, questions I asked, the opportunities and threats. And then you start thinking about those. Then you come back to this part of the video and we start actually creating the SWOT analysis template. So as I mentioned, we would cover mainly what a personal SWOT analysis looks like. So I've lined up the titles along the left hand side rather than across the top from left to right. Um, that's very simple. It's just a rotation of the text. So remember I said this is all about SWOT analysis and positive gossip. So to help me formulate my SWOT analysis, personal SWOT analysis, I 
asked myself all the questions I mentioned for the strengths, weaknesses, opportunities and threats. I also asked a few family members what my weaknesses were and what they thought were my strengths. During the process of preparing this video, I had a couple friends actually message me and they just gave me positive feedback about who I was. I didn't ask for it, so I actually generally appreciated it and I've included it as part of my strengths, as in the explanation as to why it's a strength. I already knew it was a strength. It helped me to confirm that it actually is a genuine strength of mine, you know? I have created a SWOT analysis specifically around these YouTube videos that I've been creating for the Beehive and thinking about my strengths and how they line up to that. The list I had initially was very, very long and extensive and it was just the strengths and weaknesses, opportunities and threats that I felt were relevant for this channel. It wasn't all the other strengths and weaknesses I had. And I'm sure you'll probably have a very long, extensive list yourself. I had to condense it down just to kind of get you through what's important and show you what good looks like. And I'll cover off a few of these to get you inspired. Um, so public speaking and confidence is one of my strengths. Um, I'll actually tell you a quick story of someone in the Bible, Moses. He stuttered and he didn't believe that he could lead people as a result of his weakness but god blessed him and he was able to successfully lead people despite the fact that he was wasn't a good speaker and struggled to speak um easily so it just goes to show like if you identify your weakness ask god for some great blessings and you work towards what you're destined to do you can successfully achieve a great outcome a great success regardless of your weakness um for me i wasn't always a great speaker and i in primary school was asked to actually deliver one line of a poem Everyone else did it successfully. I struggled. I remember the one line, but I had stage fright. I did not, in a million lifetimes, think I would, you know, get stage, stage fright. Um, I was quite confident or what I thought. I thought I was confident, but I struggled. And since then, what I've done is work towards understanding what causes it, how to avoid it and so on and it's now actually a strength of mine. I'm now what I think is a great public speaker, I'm quite confident speaking in front of people and I enjoy it and I don't struggle anymore. Um, So it just shows like with my experience of going to meetups, going to I go to quite a number of meetups. I go to Toastmasters. So when I was working for Accenture, I was going to the Toastmaster classes. My church has one as well. So I would literally go to as many as possible and just get uncomfortable with talking to people. And naturally, by practicing and so on, I developed that skill. I also work with a hundred black men charity. Um, so I'm work. I work with them and i was delivering talks there as well so with all of these what i just want to highlight is with all of these different encounters it was possible for me to develop and refine my public speaking skill to a point that um i'm now confident okay what I have next is constant learner and researcher. I think I've kind of demonstrated that by explaining, number one, I'm a bit of a sponge. I love researching and studying and understanding what's available and out there for me so that I can grow and develop. Um, I think I struggle. I have a fear of missing out, to be honest, when it comes to learning. 
So sometimes it can become a bit of a paralysis by just constantly wanting to learn. So, you know, your strengths can also sometimes create a weakness for you. You just need to manage that. Um, I'm Agile certified. I have experience about five and a half years now. And um, I use that to my advantage. What I'm skilled at is what I'm also teaching and sharing um and i'm a malleable person i think i'm quite flexible not just agile with a capital a but also quite flexible and willing to like learn and maneuver through any situation really including a crisis well-rounded balanced and fun okay let me find one to pick off here for you so i think i'm quite versed in a number of cultures two strong ones are the nigerian one nigerian culture and the british culture as well and i can just about speak two languages pretty decent or at least i can understand yoruba and i can speak english quite well um and yeah i I feel generally I'm one of those cheerleaders. I'm constantly motivating people, reminding people of what they've shared with me and holding them accountable. And I'm now doing that in in these videos. I'm trying to encourage people to be a better them and be their best self. We'll move on to weaknesses. As I said, we move from strengths to weaknesses, opportunities to threats. Weaknesses, I think I can be a bit of a procrastinator. I'm generally quite late for stuff. But anything that's a one-off, I make sure I'm like at least 20 minutes early so that there's just no way of me being late. Um, with me being late, I know that sometimes I miss stuff, miss out, but then I try to find opportunities to get that information. And the reason I'm generally late is because I get involved in too many things and I, and I need to stop doing that. So the next one is fixed loose ends. Um, I guess that goes with these videos in particular. Um, I spent so much time recording, re-recording, re-re-recording and even beyond. Um, just to kind of try and get these videos to a certain standard. It's definitely something I'm learning and hopefully it will become a strength over time. So having to fiddle around with videos and so on. But um, yeah, with practice makes perfect. And um, I guess one last thing to mention with regards to weaknesses for yourself is if you're not so good at something, you might want to maybe serve and spend some time just helping out maybe in your church with a charity, doing some free work to refine your skill so it becomes a strength. Um yeah so that really is it for strengths and weaknesses i hope um that gives you a bit of inspiration of how to kind of go about doing your own personal sort analysis so we've covered quite a bit there on strengths and weaknesses i'll leave you to kind of get working on those parts like how you can add to your strengths and your weaknesses You've seen examples of how I've, you know, listed out some of the strengths that I have, some of the weaknesses I have. And um, next up on the next video, we'll be covering opportunities and threats. So stay tuned on this topic and like, subscribe and share if you like what you see. Thanks.